<laughs> Deal with it. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Relax, 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 relax. Re Ladies and gentlemen, 3-2 win against Fulham. That was absolutely amazing. I'm just kidding. We looked so sluggish defensively. <laughs> First of all, to Fulham. Wow. That assist from Raul Jimenez. Oh, <laughs> the Brazilian magic. Oh my God. Nothing that anybody could have done there. He could have done that against anybody. That, oh, that back heel was amazing. Andres Pereira doing the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo celebration at the Etihad. You got some balls, my friend. You got some balls. I still don't like you. Not one bit. But wow. 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 Muniz, great finish. Terrible defending. Good finish regardless. Adama Traore. I am so glad that Adama Traore is crap at football. <laughs> I don't care. Disrespectful. I could care less. The man has all the pace in the world. The fastest player anybody's, anybody's ever seen. Can't finish. Can't really shoot. Can't, can't dribble the ball. Great fight by Fulham, especially in that last 15 minutes. They pushed and pushed and pushed Manchester City. We looked defensively anemic today. Horrible defending, horrible organization, a bit of a weird lineup, I gotta say, by Pep Guardiola. A lot of sluggish players, uh, well, uh, a lot of great players having sluggish performances, yet the favoritism is continuing on Manchester City, and we almost paid for it by dropping two points. Olam, great work, especially in the last 15 minutes, pushing us all the way. If it weren't for some horrible finishing by some of your players and some great goalkeeping by Ederson... Uh, this game could have been a loss. Fulham could have easily beaten Manchester City. We are weak inside, especially without Rodri and without Prince Harry on the field. But I, I gotta say, wow, Adama Traore. Thank you so much for being a below-average football player. <laughs> I do apologize for the constant time wasting at the end. I, d I don't really appreciate it when our club does it. I understand that it's unfortunately it's a part of a game. Every team does it. If you don't do it, somebody's going to do it to you. Again, first of all, the referee giving Ederson a yellow card for uh, taking the goal kick a couple of meters in in front of where the ball should have been taken of. Thank you. I mean, that, that's just more time uh, taken away from Fulham. I mean, the yellow card from uh, to Pep Guardiola, I thought it was unnecessary. But uh, if you want to give out yellow cards, if you want to be uh, the big bad wolf, if you want to make the game all about you, Mr. Receding Hairline Referee, you be my guest. <laughs> now for Manchester City. Um, Look, first of all, Mateo Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic. <laughs> the ghost of Rodri lives on. He lives on. Clutch Kovacic, especially in the last couple of games. He is in contention for the player of the season. All right, not for the Premier League, but for Manchester City so far. He's in contention for it. You know, Haaland in the tent goes and blah, blah, blah. Kovacic, you absolutely beautiful man. Beautiful, beautiful. It, it, it helps that he's one of the most attractive players I've ever seen play for the club. Uh, Mateo Kovacic. <laughs> what is it about Croatians and just being absolutely drop-dead gorgeous? Except Luka Modric. But wow, Kovacic, you are absolutely insane. That first goal, bit of a bit of luck, I think, if I remember correctly, it was a tiny bit of a deflection. Regardless, that second goal, oh, pick this pocket. Well, I'm sorry, picked your uh, picked your poison. Beautiful shot in the bottom left hand corner. That is what we need. That is a veteran play from an exquisite midfielder, an experienced midfielder. A lot of young players would have just powered it. A lot of young players, especially Foden. Foden can't help himself but shoot it directly at the goalkeeper. Kovacic, no. Left side, baby. I love it. Kovacic, you were the man of the match, in my opinion. Deservedly the best player on the field. I'm just going to give it to you. Bernardo Silva. I keep seeing stats of Bernardo Silva creating the most chances, the most dribbles, and blah, blah, blah. Average performance today by Bernardo Silva. Do I really care? No, he is going to be back. But again... 
I, I, this is why you don't judge football players based on stats. This is why you actually watch the game because Bernardo Silva was was subpar. He was sluggish with 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 Jack Grealish. I'm gonna do those two as a pair. That wing partnership isn't working so far this season. Bernardo Silva's getting of age. He he doesn't have the pace. I'm faster than Bernardo Silva. He definitely has more stamina than I will ever have. But I can 100% be Bernardo Silva in a 100-meter sprint. I swear to God, ladies and gentlemen. I swear to God. I can easily destroy that little twat, as United fans call him. I would never call him that, but I can. There's a reason why people don't like him. He's very mischievous. Very mischievous, Bernardo Silva. Especially with <laughs> that throw in that full mat. He just puts, he just kicks, he just, uh, well, he just rolls the other ball in play. And, and, you know, some call it smart, some call it mischievous, some call it... You know, a terrible aspect of the game i just call it bernardo silva honestly <laughs> again bernardo silva i love you bro i love you absolute legend of the club pick up the pace this season please we cannot we cannot have you do this at wool at, at the molyneux after the break we cannot have you do that against wolves at their stadium because we will get found out remember what happened last year we lost remember that we lost obviously you know Kyle walker should have you know Huang Yi Chen should have got a red card, but still, we lost. Jack Grealish, sluggish today. That goal by Jeremy Doku, that is what wingers have to do. The last time I remember Jack Grealish scoring a goal like that, cutting inside like a winger is supposed to do, and scoring, was against Leipzig at the Etihad three years ago in the Champions League group stage ma matches three years ago. That's the last time I've ever seen Jack Grealish score a goal like a proper winger should. Is Jack Grealish a traditional winger? No, he's a creative attacking midfielder put on that side by Pep Guardiola. That's why I don't like when people judge him based on uh, on goals and it says, but sometimes you gotta grow a pair and cut inside and shoot Jeremy Doku. <laughs> what a goal by Jeremy Doku. What a goal by Black Goku. Doku. Goku. Doku. Oh my god. Oh, when that goal went in. Ugh, the, ugh, the adrenaline just kicked in my body. Thank you so much for taking the ball by the neck and saying, oh, you are going inside the net. I love you, Goku. Rico Lewis, what an assist. Beautiful game today by Rico Lewis. Just kidding. Not not even assist. That's, that, I, don't, I wouldn't even count that as an assist. Terrible game by Rico Lewis today. You got found out defensively, my friend. You got found out. You still have four assists this season in all competitions. Today was a poor performance by Rico Lewis. I'm not going to hone in on him. Because it's just one player defensively, we looked completely anemic. That goal... That, uh, Fulham's second goal pretty much proved how lazy our players are. Gundogan, I'm not letting you off the hook today. This is yet again another poor performance by Elkai Gundogan. Great, you scored You scored against uh, Slovan Bratislava. Congratulations. Nobody cares. How about in the Premier League? How are you doing in the Premier League? Not good so far. You need to pick up the pace, my friend. My uncle, I swear to God. Offensively, we looked horrific. Horrific, absolutely horrific. Okay. When 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 uh, Muni scored that goal, I just laughed. I just looked at the screen. I just laughed. Where's the defense? Rico Lewis jogging. Bernardo Silva jogging. Kovacic, man of the match today, jogging. This is why Rodri is the best player on planet Earth. You don't notice these things when he plays, but when he's not there, you notice it. Fans of other clubs are noticing it. I'm sure Liverpool. We're going to Anfield soon. I'm sure Brighton, Villa, Arsenal are looking at that game and thinking, look at this weakness that they have. So, nobody can do the work of Rodri? Is that what you're telling me? I'll keep that in mind. We need a defensive cover in January. <laughs> Phil Foden not being, yeah, being the creative outlet that I thought you were. What is happening to Phil Foden this season? You got to pick it up. As it, it, it's been what only it's been four games this season. Great performance against Slovan Bratislava again. It is Slovan Bratislava. Okay. You got to pick up the pace. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna say we got let off the hook today. We didn't deserve to really win the game. Fulham, great stuff by Fulham. Deserved to win the game in terms of the uh, Fulham had better chances than we had today. Definitely had better chances than we had today. But we prevailed. We got the three points. That's all that matters. But. Let me tell you something. Rival teams are looking at that performance and licking their lips. Horrific. 
but we still got the three points. Great defensive work and a couple of plays. I will give us credit. You know, the counterattacks, I see like five or six City players sprinting back. That is excellent work. I will give credit to City for that. But defensively, we looked anemic today. We got to pick it up. No offense against a better team like Brighton, Villa, Arsenal, Liverpool. We would have lost that game. Kovacic, thank you.